Good afternoon. As teachers of very young children often know, vocal exploration is very, very important in early childhood music education, and in fact, in early child education in general. Um, young children need to be given the opportunity to use their voices in a variety of ways, so I am going to show you a very fun finger play that you can use with your young students to facilitate vocal exploration. So I'm going to do the tale of the three little monkeys swinging in the tree. Now, the three little monkeys, here's little monkey number one, do you see him? There's monkey one. And here is little monkey two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He's ready to go too. And little monkey three, mm, this is a little difficult. Little monkey three is going to be played by, yes, a cow, because my puppy chewed up monkey number three. So we get a cow, he's gonna fill in for monkey number three. And we also have here, rawr, 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 rawr. we have an alligator, let's see if we can get him to open his mouth. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Anyway, he's gonna play the part of the alligator. And this finger play goes like this. I'm gonna grab my little monkeys. Here they are. Monkey one, monkey two, monkey three. There they are. Woo! Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Long comes Mr. Crocodile, slow as can be. Snap! Uh oh. Two little monkeys swinging from the tree. Now, do you think these monkeys learned their lesson when they were swinging from that tree? No, they really didn't. So, unfortunately, here they are again. Two little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Long comes Mr. Crocodile, slow as can be. Snap! Oh, no. One little monkey swinging from the tree. He didn't really learn his lesson either because he goes back to the tree and he's swinging around. He's going, la, 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 And he's singing away um, and he sees that crocodile. So one little monkey swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Na, 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 Long comes Mr. Crocodile, slow as can be. Snap! Uh-oh. There are no little monkeys swinging from the tree. Now, at this point, if your students are fine with it, you can leave the story this way. Or, if your students seem to be very, very unhappy about the fact that there are no monkeys and they got eaten by the big, fat, mean alligator, then you can invent an ending. So one I sometimes invent goes like this. Well, you know, it was Sandy out on the beach, and the crocodile, you know, he was really big and fat. He was really big and fat from having eaten all those monkeys. And so he's crawling under the tree on the sand. He's looking for a place to stretch out and sleep. And he parks himself under a tree, and he inhales deeply, and he starts to snore. <gasps> but when he inhales, he inhales a bunch of dirt, and he starts to sneeze. He goes, ha, ha. The monkey slime covered tumbled out and they run away fast as can be going na, 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 na. you can't catch us you can't catch us bye and there's the crocodile again and he's hungry so he has to go find something to eat again now an important aspect of doing songs or doing finger plays with young children is to give them plenty of opportunities to explore their voices. So when you are doing the different sounds of the alligator and the monkeys and the other things, give them opportunities to use their voices in a very high and a very low way. For example, the crocodile, he can be, long comes Mr. Crocodile. He's big and fat. Or the monkeys may be, na 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 give them a chance to get way up in their head voice and use their head voices. The other important thing about early childhood and songs is the children learn sequencing, which is very important for their reading abilities, and they also learn rhythm, which is also important for their reading abilities. So I hope this gives you something fun to do with your very early childhood students. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful afternoon.